you know, when your son dies, you have to find a voice for him. And that's, that's our story. Our middle son, Connor, who was 12, perfectly healthy, um, one day came home, said he had a headache. And after two hospitals, 10 days later, we lost him to complications from the flu, staff, MRSA. Um, and it just came out of the blue. We weren't prepared. I don't think anybody's prepared to lose a child, but February 17th of 2009, our our family and our world and our lives were changed forever. And um, how I got to Ghana was um, Pam and Randy Cope and Touch of Life. They reached out to us at a time when we really needed, we re really needed help, we really needed guidance. Um, they'd been there, lost a son themselves, and just kind of came in and were our provision. Of course, they've lost a son themselves, and um, they knew what to do. Mm -hmm. And I think they also knew that the ministry within their ministry is reaching out to people in need and connecting us, people like us, to people who are also in need halfway around the world. Mm -hmm. And we just kind of minister to each other. You know, we we do things to try to help traffic children in Ghana, but those traffic children turn right around and offer us encouragement and mm -hmm. hope and perspective and, and uh, a smile. And when I went, the first thing that touched me was there was this shared suffering amongst a mother who's lost a child and these children who have been trafficked. There was a shared despair, a shared suffering and grief. And yet, I thought I was going to minister to them. And they turned around and ministered to me. It was the most amazing 10 days of my life. If, if you have had a loss of any shape or size, one of the things we found that helps is channeling that grief energy into something positive. It doesn't take away your sadness. You're still left with your sorrow at the end of the day. But you're doing something with it that makes a difference. And I'm not sure I can explain it, but somehow that helps. Because you're touching the eternal. You're touching something that is gonna outlive you matters. <laughs> it just matters. <laughs>